Welcome. Want to create blurry background bokeh in your video? Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm going to show you how to create that with your camera and do it in post if you're using an iPhone or a smartphone. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you want a blurry background? Don't you want everything crystal clear, you may ask? Well, our naked eye don't see it that way. We don't see things crystal clear. Uh, if you bring your fingers up and look at your fingers, concentrate on your fingers, everything in the background, past your fingers, everything is kind of blurry. We, we're not concentrating on that. We're just looking at the finger, right? This is how our naked eye see things. So when we're doing a film or a video, we want to create that cinematic look. We want to create what our naked eye is naturally seeing things. So that's why we want to blur the background. Also, when you blur the background, you are forcing uh, the audience to only look at the things that are in focus, being the, the main actor or that product that's featured in a commercial, say. So you, the, uh, you are using that focus in the blur backgrounds to force the audience to only see what you want them to see. Okay, so to create that blurry background with a camera, what you need to do is to place your subject very as close to the camera as possible and have the background as far away as possible. Obviously, if you are very close to the background, it's not going to work. Let me flip that, flip the camera around and show you how we could achieve that. So, as you can see, I have my camera set up pretty close to the cat and that is how I'm able to uh, set the background to be blurry, okay? So the cat is very close to the camera, so everything in the background from the cat will be blurry. And now you are seeing what the camcorder is recording. I'm zooming in onto the cat's eye. And I'm going to zoom back out so you can see the background is really blurry. Now, and this is with my smartphone. As you can see, if I'm just focusing on the cat, the background is blurry as well, okay? Uh, unfortunately, not all smartphone has this feature, but most of the newer smartphones should be able to give you that, okay? And as you kind of, you know, back out from it, then, you know, more and more of the background will become more in focus, okay? But it should, if you're really close to your subject, the background should be good. So, what if your camera, camcorder, smartphone cannot give you blurry background? Well, I'm going to use this footage, put it in DaVinci Resolve, and make that happen. Okay, we're at DaVinci Resolve, and I just uh, uploaded my clip here and just put in the timeline and as you can see the background is very clear so let's head over to the color tab and add a note and on this when this note is selected go to the window and then I'm going to select this pen tool what I'm going to do is first track my body so I'm just going to draw around the body it doesn't have to be too precise okay once I have that then I'm going to track it go to the tracker window make sure my playhead is at the beginning of the clip and then 
play and let Da Vinci track my body movement. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go to the beginning again. And then I'm gonna go to the window again and I'm gonna select plus curve. And now I'm gonna track, I'm gonna outline my head and let Da Vinci Resolve track my head movement. Now it doesn't have to be too precise. Make sure you joint it. And then go to the tracker window. Make sure the playhead's at the beginning again. And then track it one more time. Okay, there's a bit of a uh, mistake here and there, so I'm going to put the tr playhead at the beginning and make sure I'm on frame again and then just play it, find an area that's really bad and I'm going to fix it. Right about there really bad. I'm just gonna move that over a little bit. Again it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and that's all the tracking that we need. Okay, and now I'm gonna click here and add, add a note. This time we're gonna go add outside. Okay, so it'll affect everything to the outside of what I selected here. So we'll put this blur effect on right away you could see the blur is already in the background so let's take a look yeah I'm seeing a little bit the you know here that needs fixing so what I need to do is to go back to this area select my second note because this is where the um, uh, where my fixing needs to, to do now what I need to do now is to go back to the tracking and go back to clip and back to here I'm gonna apply the softness to this Bring the softener to let's bring it to about 20 and also for this one as well and put the playhead at the beginning let's go back to the edit tab and take a look there you go now you can see the background is blur and that's how easy it is all right i hope you learn how to make blur background that's it for now happy creating